An Oklahoma police officer facing criminal charges for the beating of a teenager last July during an arrest. And WGN's Jenna Barnes is joining us from our newsroom now with more details. Jenna? Ray and Dina, these are charges that advocates in the Arab American community have been pushing for for months. The Chicago Sun-Times reports one of the three officers involved in the July beating and arrest of Hadi Abutella has been indicted. Why are they beating him like this? This witness video of the Oaklawn police beating and arrest of 17-year-old Hadi Abutella sparked protest last summer. This is outrageous! This ain't right! And now, nearly seven months later, one of the officers involved is facing charges. The Chicago Sun-Times reports a Cook County grand jury indicted Officer Patrick O'Donnell Tuesday on counts of aggravated battery and official misconduct in connection to the arrest. It's a step in the right direction. A move that comes after unrelenting pressure from advocates. We've been calling and meeting and everything with Kim, with Kim Fox's office saying that we want to see charges brought against these three officers. And they say they won't stop until the other two officers involved are also charged. Abu Tella's injuries were serious, a broken pelvis and bleeding on the brain. The high school senior's lawyer say he's still recovering. Knowing that he's dealing with this really traumatic incident is definitely difficult for him. Oaklawn police dashboard cameras captured Abu Tella running from a traffic stop that police say they initiated because they smelled marijuana coming from the car. During the teen's arrest, police say he reached for a bag from which they later recovered a gun. Had the offender drawn that weapon, he could have shot him. Or were they supposed to wait for him to pull it out? Oakland's police chief defended his officers in the days after the beating. As one of those officers now faces criminal accountability, Abutella's lawyers are also pursuing a federal civil rights lawsuit against the department. It's a pattern that needs to stop and, and we need to hold these officers accountable so that other officers know that this behavior is, is not tolerated and, and completely unacceptable. Abutella faced charges in juvenile court. His attorney says that case has been adjudicated. Tonight, an Oaklawn division chief declined our request for comment. We've also reached out to the state's attorney's office and so far have not heard back. Ray and Dina. All right. Thank you, Jenna.